Bam! Meditations by uh, Krishna Krishna Murti Krishna. I don't know how to say. I don't know how to say his name. But but the dude looks meditative. I mean, look at the look at that face. Um, this this was uh, a great book for me, and I'll tell you why because I meditated for a long time, or at least I thought I was meditating. Um, I started studying like Zen Buddhism in college, and uh, I would you know do the whole like sitting in a chair, um, and I would do like affirmations, um, nah, I'm, oh like the the what is it the chants and all that stuff, and uh, I would also do like walking meditations, where, like you just walk and you just like uh, counting your footsteps. I don't know why I did this kind of footsteps. But like, uh, so they call that walking meditation where you're like walking and focused on one thing. And I would also, and I know this is crazy and I probably freak my roommates out in college, I would like walk around the house with a blindfold on just so I can be more aware of my senses and stuff. Uh, and, and all that stuff relaxed me and it was all meditative. But there was also a part of me that felt like um, it, it, that it was it was weird that I had to meditate uh, in isolation, like like I could only achieve that when everything was quiet and I wasn't disturbed and uh, I had to cut everything off. And I just thought there was something very unmeditative about trying to meditate, if that makes sense. It's kind of like I think I discussed this in other videos where you know like. Nobody looks more frustrated than people trying to get to their yoga class on time, right? That is just, I don't know if you've ever been to yoga or, or whatever, but they're just like at the door, like, you know, I am legend or something like that. Anyway, um, so this book, uh, it, it really opened my eyes. And there are three points I want to cover from the book. I mean, there's a lot of good, and it's a short read. Um, one is, I, in terms of meditation, is not an isolated incident. Uh, he talks about meditation as being just life. Like it, it's, you can't separate life from life. So meditation is not this sitting in a chair going, I'm wrong. meditation is freedom from thought. It's, it's being aware. It's just awareness, basically. And, and that really makes more sense to me because there's nothing harder to do, I don't know about you, than to just be aware of, of myself and my breath and how I feel uh, at all times. That's such a hard muscle. A lot of the times I just get caught up in a day or caught up in a moment or, you know, I realize, man, I, I really haven't taken a breath all day. And it's really hard to, to remain aware of, of yourself and, and, and be kind of uh, objective uh, without judging what's going on and uh, uh, without, I, I don't know what I was going to say, but, but, but that's a very hard thing to do. And so when he explained that meditation is really just awareness at all times and it's not an isolated incident, that made more sense to me because really the goal is like, you want to feel that 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 peacefulness, that bliss at all times, and not just like when you're sitting in a chair uh, with the lights off. Well, I'm, I'm, that's just it doesn't make sense to me. So that really makes sense to me. Uh, the other part that he brought up was, uh, you know, the whole thing of meditation is freedom from thought. And I remember when I was taking kickboxing uh, lessons, my trainer would would keep saying, he'd be like, "You're thinking too much. You're thinking too much." And he was like, once you stop thinking, your your punches and your kicks will just fly. They'll just, it'll be faster, harder, quicker. It'll have that snap. And he goes, as long as you're thinking about throwing a punch, then it's gonna slow it down, and it's gonna it's gonna um, it's gonna tell. Uh, that's not the word I was looking for, but it's gonna give away the fact that you're gonna throw a punch. You know, like you see it in boxing. Some guys, you know, they, they, they punch you, you don't see it. And other guys, they, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tele, not telepath, uh, tele, telegraph. is it telegraph? telegraph? They telegraph the punch, yeah. 
And it's because they're thinking about it. They thought about the punch, and they go, hey, I should punch now, and then they punch. Whereas, like, you just kind of want it to be this intuitive thing where you're not thinking. And, and he said the space between thought and action is conflict. So it was like, just do it. Just, and, and I guess that's like when you hear athletes talk about being in the zone or rappers being in the flow, it's because they're not thinking about it. They're just letting it go. And, 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 and it's, it's always fun to be around those people. Like we're always like, you know, it's, it's not a lot of people like that. So when you meet them, it's, it's, it's kind of intense, but it's kind of refreshing. Those people who just say whatever is on their mind and they do whatever you kind of, you're not quite sure about them, like what, what they're doing, what they're saying, where they're going. And it's, they're like kids, you know, like kids kind of have that just say it, do it, you know, blah, 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 blah. And we kind of like tamper that down so they can fit in a society and sit in board meetings. Board. That's why they call them board meetings. Um, last thing I want to talk about is what I say is not trying to uh, believe. I, the, the, the third thing he talks about, I mean, he talks about a lot of things, but I just want to cover three because my videos have been so long. And I'm sorry for that. I didn't, I didn't really mean to make it a trillion. Anyway. The last thing he talks about is um, your beliefs and ideas are, are, are a hindrance because whatever you believe in and whatever your ideas are, are based on your past experiences. And a lot of people hold on to their beliefs and ideas from 10, 20 years ago without taking into account the experiences and things that they've learned today it's kind of like like a racist right like 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 the racist who's still running around like like black people are dumb or, or mexicans or this or asians or that when their experiences have taught them otherwise it's, it's kind of like your friends who that you went to like middle school with and they still treat you like you're that kid from middle school when clearly you've developed and grown um beyond that person or you know how your parents treat you like you're still there the little, the little baby, you know, and when you're, you're an adult now, you run a company, you have a family, you're, you're a man, you're a woman, you're a wife, you're this, you're that. So it's people are held back because they, they create these beliefs or they have this religion or this dogma, and then they let the rest of their life be guided by that. Some people are free by it. I, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I, th his point is that the, the most important thing is to re remain aware of where you are now. Like, how do you feel about this right now? Yes, yeah, yes. And I think we call those people flaky, but it's not flaky. It's just sometimes the way you feel is, you know, two, three days ago was based on whatever happened. And now the way you feel now is, is, is different because something happened with it. You learned some new information. It's like, yes, I loved you until I found this this letter from another dude. You know what I'm saying? So allow your, ch your, your changes in your life and your beliefs to be, to be fluid. Allow yourself to be fluid. And, uh, and that's meditative, homie. Get this book, Meditations. It's, it's, I, I love it. It's a quick read. And I know I was going to say, I said I was going to uh, review um, Tale of Twin Cities or whatever that was. But that book was so long, and a lot of people have been telling me they can't keep up with a book a week. So I'm trying to throw in, like, a lighter book, like, every other week so that people can catch up. You know what I'm saying? This you can read uh, in a doctor's office. There you go. Bam. i see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.